Sir Neville Cardus, the great doyen of cricket writing, once wrote, God no doubt could have created a better batsman than Victor Trumper had he wished, but so far he hasn't. Underrated partly because of the age he played in and partly because he died so young in his mid-30s, sadly. Immortalised by one photograph by the English photographer George Beldham, Trumper is stepping out to drive. Everything about the photograph, perfectly framed, perfectly atmospheric and very exact in its appreciation of the energy of batting. In the photograph, Trumper has stepped out to drive a great stride forward and has this wonderfully high back lift ready to strike, great takeaway of the arms, use of the wrists. All the energy and motion in batting as you're about to strike is caught in this extraordinary moment. It's perhaps the most used image in cricket history. Victor Trumper was a god in Australia. He was worshipped, not just because of the wonderful batsman that he was, but it was the way he went about making his runs. He scored 100 before lunch against England at Old Trafford, 1902. The great Trumper ideal of attack, attack, attack. Nicely built guy, tall for the time, slim, very neat at the crease. Played cricket with a great sense of joy. He scored his runs very quickly. He played well off either foot. It was sometimes a surprise when he was out. He was generous to his opponent, would often say to a bowler, too good for me, or something like that, and then get revenge in the second innings or, or the next match. He was the most glamorous attacking player. He was also the loveliest of men. Finally, thankfully, he's uh, best remembered by a stand named after him at the Sydney Cricket Ground, where he's now officially a, a Trumper stand. Trumper was full of craft, full of artistry, of adventure, and in the great story of Australian cricket, Trumper features right up there. He was just the most brilliant of cricketers and some still believe he was the greatest Australian batsman of all.